the universal stems from the specifics. So I'll talk about my family. You know, I have a God-fearing, loving, faithful wife who has taught me so much about family. I'm from a broken home. Seeing her consistency in, 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 in really running the household while I'm out hunting, <laughs> you know, and, and, and understanding the importance of family. And, you know, I protect her, I love her, and I provide for her. And, and, and about 800 other ones, I don't know all the rest of them, but, <laughs> but that's my job. But I, you know, the, the, you, they talk about the roles we have. No, but that doesn't mean one role is more important. Yes, I'm the breadwinner, but my children are winners because of my wife. March 27, 1975, a prophet named Ruth Green prophesied that I would travel the world and preach to millions of people. I was flunking out. I had flunked out of college. I was in my mother's beauty shop and she kept looking at me in the mirror. And every time I looked up, she was looking at me. So she wrote it down. I still have a piece of paper. I've told this story before. She didn't say you're going to be an actor. She didn't say you're going to make you know, movies, you make million dollars and all that. Make a long story long, 1982, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. It just wasn't ready. Going back to your question. Rationalize, justify it, if you will what I was doing by speaking through my work. I asked the pastor, uh, 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 Bishop Blake, I said, well, do you think, you know, I told him that story, I don't know how many years ago, you think I should be a pastor? What she told me, he said, no, he said, no, you have your pulpit. Mm. So I always looked for that, for lack of a better word, angle. What's the story? That the only thing I wrote on the cover of Training Day was the wages of sin is death. I had the end of that film changed. For in order for me to justify living in the worst way, I had to die in the worst way. He died in a very small way in the, in the script. But I purposely wanted him to be knocked down on the ground and crawl like a snake. I purposely wanted everyone in the community to turn on him and I wanted him to die in the most violent way. So for many, many years and decades, I did that through my work and through my philanthropy and through being a good guy and all of those things. That's not the case anymore. What my mother said to me was, Denzel, you do a lot of good, but you must do good the right way. She said, and you know what I'm talking about can't buy your way in, can't love your way in, you got to serve, you got to do good the right way. So at 66, getting ready to be 67, having just buried my mother, I made a promise to her and to God to do, not just to do good the right way, but to honor my mother and my father by the way I live my life the rest of my days on this earth. I'm here to serve, to help, to provide. In every prayer, you know, the ego is interesting, you just don't know, but in every prayer all I hear is feed my sheep. That's what God wants me to do. I'm like, well, wait a minute, <laughs> what's that mean? Well, what I found out in the last couple of years of hearing it, that there's all kinds of sheep. Not everybody wants to go right to the... So that's why I talk to experienced shepherds <laughs> like yourself to, 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 to help guide me 